What up, family? Cause nothing to hit that like button, fam. Now, we already know the situation with Big Scar that was signed to Gucci Man 1017. Sad situation in hip-hop, fam. To see, you know, the youth get in the game, get signed, and, you know, go out um, the way that he went out, fam. And it's a lot of individuals that's in the hood, period, um, dying in this same form and fashion, fam. We just seen another situation happen with Gangsta Boo. You feel me? So it's real, real when it come to the drug scene, the fit and all scene. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing safe, right? Now, we also know that these artists is signing um, to these labels and they worship these labels like a god meaning that it's all on a chain, it's all on a reign, it's all in their vibe, you know what I'm saying? They'll die behind it, fam, that little hundred bands that they got out this deal, right? At the end of the day, a lot of people from the streets to the hip-hop game, fam, is dying behind people that really give two fucks about them, excuse my language, fam, and reason I say that is because it's a selfish program in today's time, fam. Meaning people um, want to get the bag for their family and anything outside that really just business. And you got to understand that. A lot of YGs is going into these situations thinking individuals like a Gotti or Gucci or whatever the case might be, love them like a brother. But at the end of the day, it's all love when the business is good. When the business is bad, and then it's all bad in this situation, go to show you. Now, Gucci Man uh, promised, you know, Big Scar family that he was going to, you know, pay for the funeral expenses. They ghosted him. They saying Gucci Man ghosted him, fam. His people got on social media, and they was talking about how the family is hurt behind him. You know, his home is... You know, talking about Gucci is supposed to have this money, but didn't pay for the funeral expenses like he promised to, right? Now, a lot of people would say, fam, that not Gucci family member, you know, it, it's just a business partner, right? But at the end of the day, fam, these are youth YGs, I don't care how gangster they is, that's signing to a label that got murder behind it because we know Gucci is the the boogeyman in hip hop, right? These these young dudes sacrificing themselves, fam, to get to the level to for Gucci to recognize them to sign the ten seventeen. And so they looking at Gucci like a daddy. Half of them ain't got fathers, bro. You know that that's that, that just a fact. So for Gucci not to come through on a level like this, when it come to a funeral with the family, regardless of uh. You, you you know the the back end whatever the case might be the deal that he had fam that Gucci may have lost a lot of times these CEOs lose with these artists I understand that but when it comes to Dell fam and you know like paying and promising the family that you would pay for these type of things it's only right that you fall through with that but it just go to show you a lot of people think I be capped when I say that individuals, I respect Gucci as a man. I respect Gotti as a man. But I know the hip hop, the music business. And it stands for the name, the music business. So if I sign you to my label, it's about business, fam. You dig? So if, if one would say, I understand, like you can't knock Gucci, man, because that's not his business, right? But at the end of the day, it's about morals, fam. You know, when it come to life and situations, that's why I don't rock with hip hop. That's why, you know, not saying I don't curve and listen to some of the music sometimes just to stay in tune. But at the same time, the formula is killing the youth, fam. And the OGs is just sitting back laughing and getting married and having children and studying moving on.